ask someone in Europe, Breuer is a furniture designer. If you ask someone in America, he's an architect. And for a lot of the residential work, it becomes so quickly imitated that its originality at the time is easy to overlook. Rufus Stillman was somewhat of a pimp for Marcel Breuer. He said that you must build with Marcel Breuer or I will not support this next project. Stillman is determined that he's going to be the force for modernizing Litchfield. And so one of the largest collections of Breuer's houses in any single place is Litchfield, Connecticut. If you lived in the town in the 1950s and 60s and 70s, you saw this as a sort of assault on your way of life. So the town essentially outlawed modernism. Andy Gagarin was the neighbor. He and Andy became a force for the town together. And I think the competitive dynamic with one another in architecture and design, even maybe in terms of women, led to a lot of achievements. But ultimately, it also led to a lot of heartache. There's so many people that we run into that tell us about the great parties they used to go to. Were the Stillmans and the parties that they threw bohemian? I think they were bohemian on crack. It was a raucous place and it was a lot of ideas, a mixing of politicians with artists and cultural leaders of their time, and also locals. You know, they would sit across from Marilyn Monroe or Paul Newman. They'd have these parties that would break out and suddenly everyone would be in the pool. Everybody in my father's family, except for my father, were alcoholics. It was the norm to be topless at the Stillman's. Excessive drinking, heavy nudity, things happen. Jamie was a bit fragile, probably after that. I think they were tremendously affected. Why Andy did what he did, uh, for just over 30 years, he had a mistress on the West Coast, and he had my mom on the East Coast, and he commuted. And this is not long after the free love of the late 60s. Andy was like a different person there. He was really into this kind of living. The house was a triangle house that sort of seemed fitting. And so I just said, the hell with it. You don't want anything to do with any of this, and didn't see him for the last five years of his life within these beautiful modern homes that give us such a feeling of order and peace and serenity. It's amazing what else goes on.